Welcome guys, as you can see it's fall and everybody's out blowing their leaves. Today, we're ignoring the leaves and we're gonna be replacing the passenger side motor mount down here on our 2004 Toyota Matrix. This is what the new one looks like. It's a nice beefy unit. There are three bolts on this black portion here that are really easy to get to. One from the top that's easy to get to and these two little walrus teeth looking ones that are underneath here that we gotta figure out. That could be interesting to get to. This should apply also to the 2003 through 2008 Toyota Matrix and Pontiac Vibe. It could also uh, apply to the Corolla during those years. I'm not real sure, I haven't seen one. But I know for sure this vehicle it will. So first thing I gotta do is get this engine cover out of the way. It's in the way. Two 10 millimeter Acorn nuts and you have pop clips there if they're still there. If yours like mine, it's a 2004, they're, they disappeared ages ago. So let's get that out of the way. And I'm going to put a block of wood on a jack and jack the oil pan up about a millimeter, just enough to basically support it when I take the uh, motor mount off. Uh, we don't need to jack it up or anything, just make sure it's supported. So let me get all that done and we'll be right back. All right, I have my engine cover off. I have my oil pan supported from below. And we have one bolt there, 14 millimeter. One bolt back there is 14 millimeter. One down there is 14 millimeter. Those are easy to get to. That one's easy to get to, so I'm not so worried about those. Ones I'm concerned with are down here. Getting to those things is going to be interesting, I can tell. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. I'm going to uh, I'm going to play around with a couple of ideas and see what I can come up with and see if I can get those bolts to move here. And uh, if I get them to move, I'll pass along what I found out. Alright, so what I'm having to do here is, as you can see, I removed the tire. And the shield that goes over here and wraps back up around this front piece. I remove that. There's two 10 millimeters there. A couple underneath, depending on what you have. Mine was a couple of zip ties. But if I look up under here, see, where'd you go? Right there, I've got one of the bolts removed. There's another one right there. And I've got a long, I've got my breaker bar I've just got this, that's my breaker bar, that is socketed on the end. It wiggles on the, the top so I can get it right into position. And I just put that up there on the end of my ratchet and I can get to it pretty easily from below. So let me get that other one out and then we will proceed. I have my jack under here with a board supporting the oil pan. And the lift point that you want to use on the oil pan is you'll see up there where it rounds off. That's a reinforced spot. I'm not trying to lift the engine up, just apply enough pressure to keep the board from sliding out. That will keep the engine from dropping down if I loosen that motor mount. Um, I might, you know, might need to put one little crank like that on it. That's it, just the tiniest bit to take the weight off of the motor mount, that's all. So let's go back up top and finish that out. All right, let's see how much you guys can see. Got a bolt down there. Might not be able to see that, there we go. Bolt down there, I've got that. I've got that, I've got that. I think you guys can see all that. This bolt was pretty easy to, to get started loosening as well. All of these bolts, um, the ones from below, those nuts that came off, they were pretty easy to get off. This is pretty easy to get off. I might put some copper anti-seize back on this when I put it back on. You can see the thread portion that is exposed um, has a little bit of rust. Everything else still looks pristine on it though. So, see if I can find my impact. 
and get that in here. There's one. Another down below the car. And I might need something a little longer for this one, so I'll use. I guess a uh, 10 millimeter is not going to work. Let's go for 14. I'm trying to be careful because I don't want to bust my finger on the stud sticking out over here. finger now I can and let me retrieve the one that fell under the car which thankfully rolled off to the side those are all the same size bolt so no need to worry about getting them mixed up now this will pull up and the hard part is going to be getting it out so let's see how that's going to happen got her and the old one did not appear to be in horrible condition. A bit rusted, but not bad otherwise. And all the rubber there looks to be in pretty good. A little bit weak, but not too bad. Not too bad at all. So, we've got to take the new one goes in like this uh, angle you guys up just a hair and see if we can get this sucker back in okay so I've got to get this under here there we go. So, let's get everything started. Grab my copper anti-seize. It's a little goopy. And I'm not going to put much, just a tiny bit on here to help prevent rust. I'm going to get... back up looks like it's going to be the hardest part so I'm going to continue on with that I'm going to get everything started as we want to get them all started to make sure they're all in and not cross threaded and uh, once we get them started and uh, uh, then we can start tightening them up so I've got that one on that's actually tightened down I've got the nuts on this which I can put on from above I just got to tighten down from below and I've got the other three here started. That was the hardest part is getting these to all line up. I tell you, man, that was a pain. I finally got it though. So the studs on this are longer. 
So my socket, my half inch drive 14 uh, millimeter socket wouldn't fit and I don't have a deep well half inch drive. I have a deep well 3 8 drive and an adapter to go from half inch to 3 8 though so I've, I've got ways. So let me get up under there and tighten those and then we will finish tightening down these three. Then all we've got to do is put our engine cover back on and we will be done. There she is. There's the new motor mount in place. Everything's all tightened down. And uh, tire is back on. Car is on the ground. The shield on, that we had to remove is back on. And I am sweaty. You know, I'm not complaining too much about that. This is one of those rare days in southwest Michigan in November when I can be out in a t-shirt. Only thing is, I have a long sleeve still on from this morning as well and uh, I should have taken it off first because it got warm. Uh, I think it's breaking a record for the high temperature for today. Um, but I've got the motor mount so I'm gonna go get cleaned up and uh, we'll take her out for a drive and see how she feels. See you guys later. I hope you got something out of this. I know I got dirty and sweaty so see what you get.